su prošle pune muka Ginulo se za slobodu njemo Ili s pjesmom umjesto i jauka Družiti Dražgoše, translated from Slovenian a place uh, there near Pohorje, um, yelling for help from holes. You know, obviously, he has in mind people that are buried alive. Then he goes a little, maybe he becomes a little, uh, maybe he goes a little bit too far, but maybe not. There is a little truth in everything. The thing about him is he does not understand really what the communism really is and he does call people that actually have nothing to do with what he refers to us uh, as uh, a murderous people and so on and so forth um, he's blaming individual let's say like uh, milan kuchan and so on he hates him but the truth however is that milan kuchan doesn't have anything to do with what this individual is saying. However, there are other people who do have a lot to do with with uh, what he is saying. There is something really, really rotten going on in Slovenia. But it's not only in Slovenia, it's also in other parts of the world, as I will explain to you. Tudi ve Slovenski vam vam razložil, zakaj gre pri celi stvari. Gospod tukaj namiguje na dražgo še 2018, kriki iz jamki odmevajo in v vsake stvari, čeprav neresnična, recimo v večjem delu je nekaj resnice. Zgodba, katero boste slišali danes, vam bo dala misliti, to vam garantiram o stvareh, ki se dogajajo tukaj, vendar v katerih nišče ne piše ni česar. Gospod Iršič obtožuje ljudi, za katere misli, kot samo ideologijo, da so komunisti. Obtožuje jih z zelo slabih stvari, ki naj bi se zgodile v imenu komunizma in tako naprej. In V določenem aspektu ima gospod Iršič prav, vendar v večini se moti, zakaj gre pri celi stvari. Gospod Iršič ne ve, kaj je komunizem in ga zamenjuje z fašizmom, z nacizmom, vendar spet ga zaradi tega ne morem obtoževati česa slabega ker v večini primerov ljudi, katere navaja, govori, je jezen, je frustriran z njimi, sploh ne gre za komunista, ampak gre za ljudi, ki so bili v komunistični partiji. Če bi mi omenil tukaj Pahorja, gospoda Pahorja, gospoda Rjavca, gospoda Cerarja, se z njim strinjam v popolni meri, ker o tem bom danes govoril. Ker pa gospod Iršič tudi navaja gospoda Milana Kočena, se s tem ne morem strinjati. Samo zaradi tega, ker nekaj ljudi dela stvari in se skriva za srpom in kladivom, za zvezdo, nekdo, ki je nacist, to ne pomeni, da so vsi del njegove ideologije. Še je nekaj poštenih ljudi tukaj. Gospod Milan Kučan je eden izmed njih, vendar je eden premalo, da bi stvari lahko spremenil. Hodoje stvari se dogajajo, v katerih naši mediji spoh ne pišejo, ne naši, ne tuji. In danes Ja, na to temo Dražga še 2018 vam bom tu sta dva človeka, ki sploh nimata nobene veze z tem.
tem, kar vam tukaj govori. So pa polnoma drugi ljudje, ki te stvari povzroče in danes bom govoril o teh stvarih. V bistvu bom govoril, kaj se danes v Sloveniji dogaja in o čemu se sploh nikjer ne govori in zakaj se ne govori. Torej, dobrodošli v moj program. Welcome to my program. Today I will talk to you about the stuff you don't hear again. You don't hear anywhere, but it's happening and it will happen on a larger and larger and larger scale as we are slipping, we are sliding into the World War III. Te stvari se dogajajo zaradi tega in se bojo dogajale vse več in več in več. Govorimo o brezdomcih in prav tako o svojem lastnem primeru, zaradi tega, ker svet drvi v tretjo svetovno vojno. Tako da, ostanite tukaj, dobrodošli. Ok. Marč 25. 2018. Marec 25. 2018. Ta video bo v slovenščini, več kot v angliščini, tako da lahko poslušate. This video is going to be more in Slovenian language than in English language. It's because it relates to the police station in Novo Mesto, in which conversation I will transmit through the internet, which I had on Friday, just two days ago. Uh, but I'm just going to give you a really, really brief description of what's going on here in English. The first thing I was going to do was to give you a short description of English, what was happening in the last six months, five months, six months. Such things that I had experienced at the time, I had never experienced before. To so stvari, ki so najbolje opisane v članku, katerega je podal gospod prehodno, članek, katerega ste videli. Vene je samo neke stvari, za katerimi se ne strinjam, drugače pa je to zgolj resnica. V nadaljevanju bom govoril v slovenščini, zdaj pa prvo v angliščini, tako da to je v slovenščini video. Ok, here is the deal. Today I have posted on my new site that uh, like there is like a lot of areas here where microwaving gun can be placed. It is true. Uh, the truth, however, is that foremost I was microwaved for the last five months by the neighbor, Miroslav Berger. This is also the same individual who have sent in our house without absolutely any reason other than political motivation, uh, psychiatrist Sveto Gradišar. Uh, Miroslav Berger have also ensured that the video that you were able to see about that Sveto Gradišar have disappeared from the internet. He also did that because Sveto Gradišar really, really violated uh, severely the codex, the law, the constitution and everything that comes in respect to ethics, absolutely. It's because of this individual that I was later on, basically the second day afterwards, hospitalized forcefully and then tortured ever since for no less than six years because of this individual. So that's basically Miroslav Berger and his son, Aleš Berger. Uh, here's the deal. Today, I have posted my new site how there's many rooms here and stuff like this where microwave guns can be placed. And it is true. It all started in this very room right here, where furnace is. Actually, let's say where my father had installed the second furnace right under my bed. And today I'm gonna demonstrate to you why he have placed this furnace right under my bed and what exactly is under my bed. Uh, if we look at that furnace right here, this, uh, first of all, I did not pay attention to this stuff uh, because the moment that I was microwaved to the point when I could not even got up, when I got what should be two hours and a half sleep, that it took me about 12 hours to recuperate, that I have posted on my new site, 
on how I'm not going to be even capable to post anymore from now on because they're about to kill me, absolutely kill me. Believe me, it took me 12 hours to get together and finish the video, complete the thing. So I posted one online to alert people. Look at this. You see what this is? This is where you place, uh, you know, a briquette we say in Slovenian language. I don't know how you say that in English, but this is material that is used for heating. And there is no heat in here. And in this area right here, you can put, you can place in here anything you want. And I believe this is exactly why this thing is under my bed. And I believe exactly, I am very certain, I'm 100% that this thing was inside in here. Uh, the winter now is over. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, I got beat up. I have probably now what is tinnitus. I have constant sound in my ears, but it sounds like, like you will have a very high pressure. That's pretty much how it sounds, but it sounds like crazy and it sounds night and day, night and day. In the past, when I had this, sometimes it would just cut sharply, but now it doesn't stop anymore. So I assume that in the past when I stopped with the, with the sound, with acoustic torture, and I have provided you with the proofs of acoustic torture, you were able to see that, it would stop. Now no longer stops. Now I can go walk, I can go hours, I can do whatever the hell I want. It does not go away anymore. These people have. This is a Miroslav Berger did. They ruined my life. Uh, this area here, for this, uh, where we are right now, this is what Dana Kolenz did, just as I have explained. Uh, but in the room where I went, where I moved downstairs to avoid being microwaved, with idea to uh, avoid being microwaved, this is the room right here, this room, this is exactly where the Berger house is right there, right across. And another MK Ultra, they have told me, this is so sadistic. They told me what they're going to perform on me, who's going to perform on me, and how. Now, I'm going to say it this way. Two days ago, three, uh, two days ago, I walked a lot and it was really, really good. I felt so good, so strong. As I slept here in this little bed, you know, and I had feet like this, posted like that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you what it would do is with the microwaving uh, it, what it would do is it would go and I just got I just bought a new socks sorry about this these are just brand new socks from the store my feet are really clean um, it would open the cuts with a microwave because the microwave does that and it would just open and it would just pain like you would not possibly believe would be. This was done from this direction here. And basically this is where I'm heading next in just a moment. Because of this thing here, uh, because of other factors also, because of the burger, I have decided to go back upstairs and have posted the news online which just people believe that I'm going to actually be looking like, oh, it was not bad, it was not here, this, this, this and that. No, 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 no. Entire winter, I was microwaved and acoustically tortured by the Miroslav Berger. Make no mistake, it was coming from there, from the Miroslav Berger. Dana Kolenz was doing something else. He was doing other stuff, job that I'm going to talk about. But let's see what the area looks like here. What you see here is my father's room. In here, you can put inside in here, you can put the microwave, you can put the microwave here, you can put one here. And you're not going to know because this is, this can be well concealed and it can be operated with remote control. You leave it, you click it and it will do the job. And it will not, do, will not wake you up in like 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something like this. This works over a period maybe of two, three hours or something like this, till your body no longer can take it and it will lift you up. You will not be able to sleep anymore. You're going to spin around and that's about it. You're going to get about four hours of sleep. That's how it works. Look at this. Look what is in here. 
This right here behind, this is where this little room was. Okay, here is so much garbage, trash that is tossed right here. And believe me, this is not by coincidence. All this garbage, as you see here, all this behind here is my room. This can be done from here. You could do this here, you could do this here. You could even do it from here. You could even post something in here. Whatever. Million areas you possibly could do these things. You could do these things from the outside. If you wanted to, you could. Well, news I'm referring to is this one here. Uh, I don't want anybody to make any speculations. Under MK Ultra, the neighbor, Dana Colenz, he also suggested, he pointed me out possible locations of micro cameras or so on and so forth knowing on how you cannot spot them you cannot spot micro cameras they are so small they are so tiny they are camouflaged you basically have no chance what you you end up doing is basically wasting your time he also mentioned something about what should be a microwave gun i believe they did talk about that stuff and this is exactly what i have just mentioned to you However, I don't want to confuse anybody on the issue who did what precisely when and how and so on and so forth. Miroslav Berger heavily involved in it. Exactly what they have anticipated they would do. Promised me they would do already under MK Ultra. Absolutely. And yes, I did move upstairs. Uh, I worked entire day like an animal uh, just to have even SD card destroyed in the end that also happened and there was another thing I realized when I moved up here that also was destroyed and basically totally confirms it actually is a proof that somebody did play with my security equipment and no longer can be deniable it's now became undeniable and I'm in a little bit I'm gonna show you this proof okay so you know it's 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 really live here uh, but you know there are certain issues actually inside I'm dealing with this isn't fun anymore I want to discuss the police today and you know when it comes to the proof when it comes to the proof about security equipment surveillance equipment which is for the most part totally useless because it can be disconnected it was totally manipulated you couldn't do anything with it and so on and so forth uh look what i what i got to show you what you got to say about this well this is the second time i am recording this stuff okay this is the system that i have actually already installed yesterday as soon as i moved in here it was everything ready reinstalled everything cables read all oh, everything uh, here's what i got to say in respect to this thing here uh don't worry about it i got the original video from yesterday for everything i say what i do is i collect proofs and so on and so forth then when i post video like this what i do is i adjust the news that you're about to see with the stuff that i do i have to say that this what you're about to see right now is proof enough for police involvement this already was reason big enough for me to call the police yesterday and the police is watching these videos they are very well acquainted they know about all these videos i send them the videos i ask them for assistance and you're about to hear these people don't really want to do anything about it they don't want to give me grant me any assistance any assistance at all you see these things here they pretty much look the same don't they well that's because they're not the same okay the video i mean this video they're not the same look look at this what is this here ite power supply what is this here cs power supply see this thing here it looks identical to this one 
but this is not mine this is from somebody else because I told you I told you folks that they were playing the cameras they they played with them they changed things they were effing around with these things big time I could not even it was a time I could not even do any playbacks more than one channel and stuff like this it was totally useless piece of junk and they were doing whatever the hell they were doing breaking inside of my room every day look at this this is yet another one like this IT power supply so we got two of this of IT power supply and we got one like this and it's a I'm not gonna say it's a different voltage it could it could go to the same category of the voltage right but if you look at carefully if you look at this thing here well the voltage pretty much is the same it's 12 volts 2 ampere but it says right there 1 ampere max and this one here is 1 and half ampere maximum okay it's not the same it's not even from the same camera okay this is different this is somebody play with these things i told you about this stuff this here is a proof already enough to call the police and have the police involved in this we're talking about hundreds of euros of damage here and direct physical attacks on me by using microwaves and acoustic torture this is not a joke this is not any fun okay so i just want to mention these things i have talked about downstairs and i didn't know i didn't open these things yet i would have to have somebody that would look into this stuff and so on i got a lot of stuff i have to open and get into it to see what's going on what's happening okay so no i'm not exaggerating i'm not lying to you they were playing with these things they did stuff uh, toliko ste videli zdaj, v Slovenski, na kratko povedano, ste lahko videli, da so dve različne firme. Okay? Jaz tega nisem, jaz sem kupil cel komplet, vse original je bilo, 8 kamer, uh, sans je firma, tu sem vse sam naročil kupil, vse je bilo original zapakirano, tako kot kar more biti. Okay? Kaj je tukaj, kaj je tu, jaz pojma nimam od kje se je tu pojavilo ampak lahko vidite da, so, da tu skoraj isto zgleda ampak ni ista stvar morda je bil tu predhodni model morda je bilo tu morda je bilo ono pojma nimam vem samo to da ko sem dubil sem vse pregledal vse je bilo tako kot je moralo biti tako kot je mora biti vse je bilo original vse je bilo zapakirano novo zdaj pa vidite da se je nekdo že s temi stvarni igral in tu sem tudi povedal sam, da so se igrali s temi stvarmi, da so mi uh, iztekali kamere, da so se, da se cel sistem, da se je ugašal in tako naprej. Sploh nisem mogel igrati uh, posnetko in tako naprej. Te kamere so imeli več problemov kot dobrega. Tako da tukaj je en dokaz, legalni dokaz, spet za policijo, katerega bi morala seveda upoštevati kaj drugega. Okay, I just want to finish this video because uh, I got to go and, and give uh, in Slovenian language I have to transmit because of the local police station here. Um, it was everything in Slovenian language. I, you know, for some reason apologize to you. Uh, fact of the matter is that uh, police doesn't want to interfere. They say they don't want to interfere. Listen to this shit. Uh, they will not get involved basically is what I was told uh, under MK Ultra. The truth is they don't want to get involved. Uh, the other day, Netanyahu left here a lot of family here in, in the city of the Novo Mesto. He left his niece, she married someone here. He left some other family here and this family stalked. And then you have people stalked me that were involved in abductions. And when I confronted them, I went to the police station to report these things. Police, police would not even investigate. They don't bother because this police here from Novomis, so they got, I understand a lot of technology from Israel and United States of America. They got a lot of forensic technology and all kinds of stuff. Besides that, you have a top politicians involved in it. It's a politic, it's a state politic. And so none of these people would, would involve and 
you know, try to resolve this in any way, help in any way. Uh, I could say that I'm pretty much marked to, to be killed. According to MKUltra scenario, Mitya Weber could totally destroy my computer. Nothing on my computer really works. When I got the computer after like in 2013, 2014, when I got the computer, maybe like after a month or something like this, uh, well, I had to go to a mental hospital, so I wouldn't know about that I'm, anyways. And so he had a lot of time left on, at his hand to do whatever the fuck he did with the computer. Nothing really worked. He destroyed the USBs, he destroyed HD. Uh, nothing really worked in the computer, and the computer was a piece of crap. The only thing this computer did was, it was a torture machine designed to totally waste your brain. To destroy you but you don't have the money you don't have the money i mean uh you get nothing to go and purchase yourself a new computer or anything like this you are totally blocked i believe even the bank accounts were blocked i believe everything was fucking blocked i never got any support from anybody anything nothing not in unemployment compensation or anything nothing i got absolutely nothing from this country I left here when I was 23 years old. Uh, there was an article earlier that you have seen, and in the article it says that Slovenia is a slaughterhouse. It says that Slovenia will become a slaughterhouse this year. It's, it, the reporter, the journalist, compares Slovenia with slaughtering of the partisans over there in near Maribor. Uh, killing, mass killing, and it is true. I left from here at age 23 because the only thing that was here, there was nothing. It was only beating up and then it was unemployment and it doesn't matter how educated, whatever you want. Life didn't make any sense at all. It's nothing here, really. It really is one slaughterhouse. Then they came after me to Miami to get me into this, to use me for the stuff like this and sell me back and forth, sell me to different governments as an option to get dead things done and so on. In the end, it's just time to kill you. This is what Slovenia is. This is the reality. And I totally realize that in the West, lots of people go homeless now. It started about 15 years ago. More and more homeless people went jobless. Why? Because this is how capitalism works. What they do is they save the money this way. They save money because they just cut people they, they don't want in the society. They don't want to support them or anything like this, so they profit the money. People go homeless and drugs die. That's how that is. And so this is the how capitalism works. But I just want to say that this system here, I consider myself to be a communist more than anything else. But, you know, this place here, this is, this never really was a communist place. This was maybe a communist place, maybe I would say, 50 years, up to 15 years after the World War II. But later on, this place totally lost its soul. It became a totally different place. It started to divide itself on a privileged people and underprivileged people, like people without, like myself. You know, so then you have a lot of people that went uh, across the border, across the Europe, Canada, United States, and so on. Uh, and you have this elite here that uh, they used to be part of the Communist Party, so-called Communist Party. But, you know, the difference between these people and between the neo-Nazi Germany, between the exterminator, extermination camps and stuff like this, there is none. This place looks like civilized, but the stuff that you hear from me, it's everything really but civilized. This is just a total shithole that is totally unprecedented. That's what really Slovenia is. You don't get to see the real side of the Slovenia because people here are not allowed to talk. Just as the case is in the Russia. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I don't think it's any different in the US. In the US, they brainwash people so much that they go homeless and they still go, God bless USA and stuff like that. So um, maybe the world became even, maybe, maybe it, it just, uh, 
Oh, it totally became even, you know. But I just wanted to clarify that that the Slovenian police doesn't want to help. Uh, I demonstrated and everything. They have the proofs about everything, but they just don't want to get involved in it. They're just they're laughing at me. The other day, these people undoubtedly they were relatives from Benjamin Netanyahu. Absolutely, they were because I remember when they were here in '98, and they have a bunch of Israelis here. Those people spoke Hebrew. So I know I can claim that these people were Israelis, but the Slovenian police will not go and investigate this incident. Although they have life threatened me and so on and so forth. They are either going to use this case to try to probably depict me as schizophrenic, as mentally ill, as paranoid, something like this, because this is what they had in scenario. This individual that I started to talk about, this Mitya Weber, he promised me they will get me in a mental hospital. Uh, you're gonna, it's everything totally according to the program. You're going to buy the new computer, but the new computer, I'm going to break you and I'm going to do the same like I did with the other one and stuff like this. So this is just the money that I get, which I don't really get. I got whatever. I got nothing. Uh, this is pretty much what is used to do this shit like this to me. So maybe I can buy something cheap and go buy and so they can do the stuff like that. That's how they have calculated all this stuff. Um, I have pointed out the police, everything about the Facebook, about dating, stuff they could not possibly even, um, you know, reject. And they say, I know, we see this and this and that. We see this, but, you know, uh, this is the way it is. They have demanded for me to write actually the incident report. And I told them if I go and I write the incident report, it's going to have the whole book. They wanted me to write and, this, and they told me back, they said, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, write the book. We want you to write the book. Go and write the incident report. I said, but, uh, you know, for that matter, I said, I have you. My time is much more precious than is yours. It's about a thousand times more precious than is yours. Imagine what I do. I'm a journalist and I do report the news that nobody have a guts to even talk about, to even think to talk about. And they keep their mouth shut because they don't want to do the job as a police officers. So I'm pretty much rated here as a dead person. Uh, fact of the matter is I want to say is that I'm 47 years almost old and I still don't have a family and my family of my own was my motto in my life independence family simply that's why i left to the u.s when i was 23 years old and that's why i work 20 hours a day seven days a week on a ship in a truck in a cold icy cold that i would wake up with water frozen around me in in bottles inside and in heat that you would not believe i did it all just to have that goal fulfilled and it never came through, and I guess it's never going to come through because of the scum like this. Because this is what Slovenia is. Individual who did all this stuff, I'm not even blaming Israel for anything, to be honest with you. I'm not blaming Israel absolutely for anything. I got no reason to actually blame Israel for anything. Israel is only being used by Vladimir Putin as a boogeyman. You know, to go viciously after me. Uh, so, you know, I don't know, to break me, to do whatever, maybe to abduct me, maybe to kill me. I have no idea what for. But the only thing I know of is that none of this would have happened without Vladimir Putin. Rather than using his own services, he's using his Israel because he alone is a Jew too. He is a Jew. His nickname is Phantom from Tel Aviv. And then he's got another nickname that's called Pushkin. Pushkin for the Russia and for the US and for the Israel, the other one that I mentioned. I know these people, I met these people on so many occasions. Well, this is basically just the way it is. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, they don't want to investigate. I was twice at the police station. They took the reports. 
They told me it's a good report, and undoubtedly it's a good report. I explain everything in rational way, logical way. Um, but they pretty much signal me that I'm I'm dead. So uh, I guess that I am dead. And at age 47, when I think about it, age 47, you know, it's not anymore what if. The question here is what is left. And when I see it, when I draw the line, I can say it's left nothing. So this is how my life went to the toilet. And it's going to be a lot of other people whose lives are going to go, not in this way, but in some other patterns down the toilet. Because now, just like in a World War II, before the World War II, when major powers, Germany, Japan, and Italy, have made the decisions on how they're going to cut the world in pieces and share one. This is basically now how the agreement is between the United States, Germany, Great Britain, France, Russia, and China, and maybe somebody else I don't even want to mention, because these people would not even get into on board. Probably Chinese would not even get into it if it wasn't for the Russia, if it wasn't for the Putin. Putin did most of the job. He did the biggest part. So that's all I wanted to say. Now I'm going to do some in Slovenian language. If you excuse me, this is, this is all I have to say in English. The rest I'm going to complete in Slovenian language. Uh, yeah, po angliščini je čez zame, da vam povem še v slovenščini. Zadnjih 5-6 mesecev sem preživel Takole se je začelo v bistvu, kot sem opisal tam v angliščini. Tukaj je oče postavil tole peč, točno nad katero je postelja moja. Tu je tako na redu, tu je druga peč, on ima dve peči v hiši. Pravi, da s tem veliko denarja privrčuje, jaz pa mislim, da je tudi zaradi enih drugih stvari. Tukaj, če se pogleda recimo, Se da lahko noter, kar koli, kar tu skaj tukaj pride, kot kar vidite sami, tukaj so briketi in tukaj mislim, da so bile stvari noter druge, ne samo briketi, pripopane tlele gor. Bom rekel takole, pred petimi meseci je bilo zelo, zelo kruto, šestimi meseci je bilo zelo kruto. Sem se zbudil po dveh urah pa pol spanca in je bilo tako, kot da bi da bi me nekdo premlatil, bom rekel, orengi. Po dveh urah pa pol spanca sem bil razbit tako, da desetkrat bolj sem bil trujen, kot predno sem šel spat. In to je bilo narejeno od mikrovalovnih pištol, oziroma pištole. V Sloveniji so se začeli igrati z mikrovalovnimi pištolcami, z ultrasondnimi pištolcami, Tukaj le je sosed v Dolč, Franciji, ravno čez cesto, ki je odmrl v grozovitih bolečinah, mogoče ne vem, koliko je bil star, tam morda 60, dinamičen šlovk, potem je pa kar naenkrat začel bolevat in kar naenkrat ga je samo zmankalo in je bila groza, vsi organi so se mu razpadili, konc je bilo. Iz te hiše je tudi Dane Kolenc, To je človek, ki je tukaj prihajal te stvari počet. Samo ena hiša od njega tam je me gospoda, je Mohar Franci. Mohar Franci je izginil na isti način. Oba dva, oba ta gospoda sta odmrla od istih signalov in jaz mislim, da bi bil tretji tukaj. Takrat, ko so me preluftali Ko sem dobil spanca dve ure pa pol, sem potreboval okoli 12 ur, da sem spoh sep lahko prišel. Šel sem na, kot novinar, sem šel na svoj kanal, na svoje kanale, YouTube, druge kanale, svojo spletno stran, kjer sem podol sporočilo, da morda ne bom več sploh mogel oddajati programa, ker enostavno povedano me bojo zatokljali. Tako hodu je bilo. Ta stvar se je potem 
nikdar ni več ponovila do te mere, vendar so skrajšali tele, tale mučenja so skrajšali na štiri urna mučenja. Šlo je tudi za akustična mučenja, katera sem, katero mi je uspelo posneti, to sem dokumentiral in sem dal na internet. Šlo je za uničevanje moje lasnine, uničil so mi vse, uničil so mi od računalnikov, uničil so mi od karkoli sem naročil iz kitajske, roba sploh nikdar ni prišla, določena roba, recimo take kamere, ki bi jih lahko potreboval, ki bi bile korisne, nikdar nikoli niso prišle. Ker ta prva stvar, ki se zgodi, mi smo tukaj krka ena. Ampak čez sesto je gospod Dane Kolenc, katerega sem predhodno omenil, in poštar vedno pride k njemu, ta prvo, potem pride k nam. In kukor je bilo dogovorjeno z vlado Slovenije in drugimi politiki, je bil on tist in on je tist, ki je pregledoval mojo pošto, določene stvari je enostavno povedano zavrnu, določene stvari pa je pa so prepravili tako, da nikdar spoh delovali, niso tudi, ko sem jih dubil in tako naprej. Nove stvari, nove stvari bi se kvarili tudi in tako naprej. Zelo visoka, dobra kvaliteta kitajska, ni več tisto, kar je bila včasih. Dobro robe izdelujejo, jih je treba zelo pohvaliti v vezi tega, računalnike, vse izdelujejo na kitajskem, ni nobene, nobene, zamere proti kitajski, oni so hotel mene, če šli bi se jaz, ne vem, proti kitajcem obrnil na karkoli. No, resnica je ta, da kitajska proizvaja zelo kakovostno, zelo kvalitetne proizvode po zelo nizki ceni. To je čist enostavna definicija tega. Poskušal so pa na vse načine, da bi jaz, ne vem, da bi dal nizko ocene in tako naprej, zaradi tega, ker pač so mi odklonili brezposelno podporo. Leta 2012 so me liberelali, kako se reče temu, oblatili, označili za mentalno omejenega človeka. Označili so me za paranoidnega šizofrenika, vendar kakršnega koli dokaza, da bi jaz imel kakršno koli paranoja ali šizofrenijo, enostavno povedano niso imeli in ga tudi nimajo do današnjega dne. Ničesar niso nikdar predložili, ničesar niso nikdar povedali, govorili so bedarije take, da se vam sploh ne more predstavljati. Če ste si pogledali moje zapiske, so govorili, da jaz, ki sem novinar, logično, lejte, v svojo sobo se zaprem delče od vseh in vam povem in mojo oče in mojo mamo, mojo svoje televizije v svojih sobah in celo hišo, jaz samo svojo sobo, kjer se sam s sobo pogovarjam in so govorili proti meni, da govorim, pritaževali so se, češ da so se starši pritaževali, da govorim v nemščini, v angleščini, v španščini in tako naprej in to so jezike, katere jaz dejansko obvladam in oni, da jih ne razumejo in zaradi tega, da sem jaz paranoidni šizofrenik. Ne gre samo za te stvari, katere se lahko vgledate tukaj. Se tu je res, kar vam govorim, jaz se ne lažem. Jaz se ne lažem. Lahko se tle pogledate. To so nore stvari. Šlo je celo za norčevanja iz mene, zaradi tega, ker nisem mogel jeti na blato, v bolnici in sem si resnično moral za prsti kopati iz črevesja ven blato, če ne bi enostavno povedano moral jeti na operacijo, da bi mi odprl, da bi mi lahko blato ven ozel. Nisem ravno prepričan, da je šlo za tako imenovana psihijatrična zdravila, sploh pred celi stvari, če ste gledali moje filme, kaj so počeli z mano, sploh ne vem v resnici, za kaj se je pred celi stvari šlo. To enostavno povedali je noro, to je že samo to pisanje, kar so te stvari, ki so oni pisali, iz tega se da zaključi, da je nekaj narobe psihološko za temi psihijatri, da je nekaj, da so te ljudje umsko bolni, to je več kako ročitno. Popolnoma logično očitno je, da 
iz vsakega poročila, katerega so te ljudje napisali, je možno zaključiti, da je nekaj narobe za njimi, da so te ljudje, da je nekaj umsko narobe za njimi, ker na vseh teh poročilih, katere so oni napisali, to so verjetno najboljši dokazi od vsega, ni mogoče iz nobene logike iz nečesa zaključiti, da bi karkoli z mano bilo narobe. Ampak je z takšnega sadističnega pisanja, oziroma celo norčevanja, kar se je men fizičnih boljučin, katere sem utrpel v bolnišnici in tako naprej, pogledajte, kaj pišejo takšne stvari, je popolnoma normalno zaključiti, da je nekaj umsko z temi psihijatri zelo, zelo narobe. Tukaj lahko vidite celo, da so govori, da sem oboževal doktorja Brejvika oziroma doktorja Morilca Brejvika in tako naprej. To so bile norije, to so bile fantazije v glavah psihopatov in nekjer druge se te stvari niso dogajale. Tako da jaz bi zelo rad videl, da policija enostavno povedano naredi detaljni detaljno investigacijo oziroma investigation preiskavo v zvezi teh norcev, ker te ljudje normalni enostavno povedano niso. Zaradi tega sem se potem v nadaljevani obestavil tudi v glasu na policijski postavi, da se ta postopek začne. Vpleteni so bili pa v ta primer od začetka, ko se je vse skupaj začelo, kot je obrazoženo v nadaljevanju. Gre za psihopate, ne gre za normalne zdravnike, ne gre za normalne ljudi, ampak enostavno povedano gre za psihopate. Jaz imam eno gora takih poročil, eno gora sem jih pa že stran vrgu, ker so mi jih pošiljali domov, zato da bi me enostavno povedano straumatizirali z lažmi, z norijemi, s katerimi ničesem nisem imel. Tako je bedarje so govorili. Naredili so, ne vem, stvari, katere so sami psihijatri napisali na papir, bom lahko povem, da samo umobolni človek bi napisal v nekomu. Nekakšen zdravnik, takšni stvari, če bi ta človek bil normalen, takšni stvari se po sami logiki, da bi šel zapisati takšni stvari, se človek nastavno povedano ne bi upel napisati, ker bi bil sam označen za umobolnega človeka. In to so pisali psihijatri take kozlarije, da so res, ne bom rekel, da so mejile na popolno norost, ampak so presegale popolno norost. Pred celi stvari ni bilo drugega kot same laži potikovanja, brez kakršnih koli dokazov, oslarije, da si jih človek sploh ne more predstavljati. Vsi odvetniki, katere so mi dodelili, so bili odvetniki, ki so delali proti meni. Noben odvetnik v bistvu me ni ščitil kakorkoli, ampak so še celo dodajali laži. Meni pa sploh govoriti niso dovolili na kadarkoli so imeli te zaprte sodišča in tako naprej. Jaz do sodišča sploh nisem prišel. Leta 2000, leta 2000, 2007 so mi zamenjali gume na mojem avtomobilu, katerega sem pripelil iz Amerike. To so bile nove gume, katere sem kupil tukaj v Sloveniji in so dal gume, neke stare gume in zgodilo se je skoraj, da sem se ponesrešil, da sem padel v prepad v kraju je tukaj, ki se imenuje pekel. To je, mislim, njihov humor, tak je njihov humor. Šel sem pač ribe lovit, vetrebnje, tam je ribnik in na poti domov, to je en gozdiček, kjer je prepad, je bila cesta polita z oljem in ko so se prepeljali za tistimi gumami, ki so bila popolnoma zrabljene, enostavno povedano sem samo letel, in sem se nekako zaredel, ker sem bil voznik, profesionalni voznik v Ameriki. Vozil sem po celem kontinentu, se mi je nekako uspelo rešiti ven iz stoprocentne smrti. In lahko vam povem, da se mi je uspelo rešiti zaradi tega, ker 
Takrat, ko se začne avto, ko avto zgubi stabilnost, ko začne zdrsavati, ko drsi, takrat namesto, da se pritisne zavore, se ga samo malo pospeši, da se ga lahko spet zrovna in potem počas, počas se zmanjšuje hitrost. Takšna je pravilna, profesionalna, vam bom povedal, ker ne govorim kakšnih kozlari, takšna je pravilna, profesionalna, tako se pravilno profesionalno vozi tovarnjak, avtomobil in tako naprej. Vem o teh stvareh, veliko vem o teh stvareh. Uspelo mi je avtomobil nekako dati na bankino, z razrezanimi gumami, gume so eksplodirale, to so bile stare gume, preperele gume, sem se enostavno povedano pripeljal do do sredine trebnega, vendar na prvem movinku me je čakalo, me je čakalo rešilno vozilo. Reševalno rešilno vozilo me je čakalo na prvem movinku, voznik reševalnega vozila me je gledal tako debelo češ. Tako kot vam je pa uspelo ven nekako zvoza testo. Tako je bilo. To je bilo leto 2007, lejte, jaz nisem hotel nobenih problemov med, jaz sem ameriški državljan, hotel sem dejansko dele dobiti za avtomobil, avtomobil prodati na tukaj jaz, čisto tako povedano. In sem si kupil dele, naročil sem si dele iz Nemčije, kateri nikdaj niso prišli, deli so bili vredni, mislim, da 500 dolarjev, zato sem šel na nove majško policijo, tole policijo tukaj, o kateri bo danes spet govora, kjer sem prosil za pomoč, glede teh delov, ki niso prišli iz Nemčije in so me dodelili nekega človeka, ki se spoh ni pomenil, kako je ime tega človeka, ker problem je, Gledajte, problem ni samo v tem človeku, problem je v tej policijski postaji, pa verjetno v drugih policijskih postajih po Sloveniji. V glavno največji problem te policijske postaje, tukaj je šef policijske postaje, ki je popolnoma podkupljen. Dodeli so me enkrat človeka, ki se je na koncu koncu, veste, to je šlo mesece, da sem hodil nazaj in sem jih prosil, če morda, če kaj vejo, kaj zadeli in tako naprej, če mi lahko pomagajo, na kar mi je enostavno povedano život spočil, ker mi je rekel, ta prvo so mi govoril, lejte, da imam srečo, da bom delil dubo, da bo denar in tako naprej. Potem se je zgodba kar naenkrat obrnila, češ, da jih jaz nadlegujem in ne vem kaj, in to je bilo po ne vem, morda dveh mesecih ali kaj, ničesar ni bilo od njih, ničesar, in veste kaj, na koncu se je jaz pritožil in se skupaj še na senat in senat je ugotovil po par mesecih tega procesa, tega psihološkega, tako v angliščju se reče harassment. To se je vse proti meni obrnilo, češ, da sem jaz zlodej in ne vem kaj, da sem, jaz sem jih pošel vprasati za pomoč, na koncu se oni proti meni obrnili in je ta senat slovenski tukaj odločil proti njim in so zgubili na senatu. In veste kaj se je zgodilo? Oni bi morali meni pomagati. Policija bi morala tega gospoda, ki je te stvari povzročil, bi ga morali kaznovati in tako naprej. A veste, kaj se je zgodilo? Tukaj so postali leta 2008. Tu je trajalo, ne vem, šest mesecev, sedem mesecev je trajalo to za policijo, dokaj nisem zmagal na senatu so poslali psihijatre tukaj, socialne delovce, ki so mi začeli groziti, da me bojo dali v umobolnico, da me bojo dali v umobolnico in so zahtevali od mene ameriški potni list in tako naprej in so mi moral izročiti ameriški potni list brez kakršnega koli razloga, brez česar koli v svoji lastni hiši tukaj. Potem sem pa urno šel v Ljubljano in tam na avion in potem v Ameriko. Na žalost pa ljudje, ki so bili tukaj, v tej hiši, so poskrbeli za to, da sem se nazaj vrnil. V Ameriki so me tudi povedali, da me namarajo imeti, da nimam pravice tam biti, tudi kot ameriški državljan in tako naprej. Čeprav nikdar v življenju nisem bil kaznovan za kakršnikoli kaznivim dejanjem.
tudi enega prekrška niso naredili. So pa se v tej hiši od leta 1998 do leta 2006 zberali Merklova, francoski politiki, britanski politiki, ameriški politiki, vključno z Bushom, Clintonom, Trumpom, Vladimirjem Putinom. Borut Pahor je bil v ta primer vpleten že od samega začetka, od leta 1995. Vsi politiki, ki so dejansko izdelali globalni, imperialistični, nacistični, fašistični plan za svet, to je v bistvu isti plan, kot tisti plan, ki je bil pred drugo svetovno vojno, ko so si razdelili svet Nemci, Italijani, Japonci, tako bo bilo in tako naprej. To so zdaj ponovno te stvari, so naredili, naredili so kupčije in tako naprej. Mene so iz Majamija ugrabljali dobesedno delo, sem po izobrazbi strojni mehanik, strojni tehnik in dela je nastavno povedano ni bilo, oziroma če dalje menj in menj in menj, da je bilo tisto, za kar sem kvalificiran in tako naprej, tega spah ni bilo, da bi šel pa v kakšno univerzo ali kaj tazga, da bi nadaljeval, smo jim pa življenje popolnoma onemogočili. Noc so mi spremenili v dan, dan v noč, nikakor ni bilo mogoče ničesa narediti. Tudi dinara ni bilo mogoče narediti, čeprav sem včasih tudi po 24 ur na dan, naravnost, brez premora delo. V Ameriko sem prišel tako, da sem delal 20 ur na dan, 7 dni na teden. Potem sem na koncu tudi kamione vazil, samo karkoli, da bi si denar zbral, pa da bi iz Amerike lahko šel nazaj v Slovenijo. Tu sem naredil leta 2006 in iskreno obžaloval, ker tukaj stvari se niso spremenilo nič. Ko sem bil 23 let star, sem bil tukaj odšel, ker so me v Sloveniji v šoli, v snovni šoli grem pretepali vsakodnevno, to so bile tolpe dijakov, 10 do 15 dijakov se je to vsakodnevno nad mano izživljalo, tam ne vem, do 16. leta, ko sem mi povedal, da zdaj sem pa tako jezen, da ne bom mogoče življenje spah spelat in tako naprej. Taki divjake so. Potem so mi povedal, ko sem izobrazbo končal, da za me tukaj dela ne bo. Čistko povedano, in dela tukaj ni bilo. Potem smo šli v Ameriko, čistko povedano, čim dle, kot kar se je dalo. Pa se ni dalo. Dobesedno omenil sem iz postelje, ker pač denarje nisem imel, za delom so mi povejeval življenje. Prihranke sem včasih porabil v Mijamiju, tako da sem... Majami pa je židovsko mesto, to sem prepričan, da veste, kjer sem jaz bil, okoli 90% je židov, to je ameriški kapital, židovski kapital je Majami, jaz sem bil na Majami Biču, v zgradi, kjer sem bil, je bilo okoli 90% židov, Natanjahu me je zelo dobro razpoznal in tako naprej. A razlog, Zakaj ta hiža je, ker je Slovenija nekako glihu mes med shodom, zahodom in tukaj je bilo res za njih idealno. Tale posest je ugrajena, so imeli svoje varnostnike tukaj in svašta so imeli. Mesto so do dobra preuredili, bom rekel, ko je to bilo. Zato pa, da bi v to hišo prihajali, ker si jaz pač nisem mogel privoščiti. Vidim polja, što se žitom zlate na brjegu vidim rodni dom Svakog trena mislim na te Zemlja moja